Hi, I'm Steve Jones and I'm going to tell you who determined the charge on an electron and how he did it. Well, it's a, a physicist from the United States, Robert Millikan, in cooperation with a group of scientists there. And in 1909, he devised this experiment. The experiment was very important because the charge on an electron is a very fundamental thing. It is unit charge, it's one charge. It happens to be one negative charge. And there is a balancing positive charge. So we've got positive and negative charges. So what he did in this experiment, he enabled scientists to get a very fundamental value. The value eventually was worked out to be 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. It doesn't really matter what the value was. But how did he do it? It's a very famous experiment, the oil drop experiment. And what he actually did, he took uh, a, a device, which actually uh, you need a microscope to do this, and you have a microscope set at the side here. And the microscope looks across a section here where you've got two plates. They're usually round plates with a hole in the middle of the top one. And through that hole you can drop droplets of oil. Now, these droplets are not big. They use an atomizer, that is, to make oil spray. And when you spray it over the top, the oil droplets pop through there. Now, those oil droplets actually are not electrons, but they are charged when you atomize them. And they're charged with one or two or three or four electronic charges. So what you can do, because they are charged, you can actually let them fall through to the bottom plate and you can time their fall. And this is a viscosity formula. It tells you how much force you have to apply to stop the particle. And you can move these particles. When, once it's got to the bottom, it has a negative charge, by increasing the voltage here, you can make it go back up to the top and then let it fall again. So in this way, you can observe through the microscope the speed at which this particle falls. From that, you actually, believe it or not, determine its radius, the radius of the particle. And you know then from that you can work out the charge on the particle. Once you know the charge on the particle, well, you know it's a multiple of electronic charges. This is the fundamental. You can't have half of it. You can't have one and a half. So if you find that you get three on there, or five on there, or six on there, you'll find that it's all a combination of a number of these charges. If you do it with enough different particles, you can determine the charge on the particle. And, of course, it was Robert Millikan who did that way back in 1909, nearly 100 years ago.